kitchen, you know, getting all your ingredients together, you know, <laughs> seasoning, <laughs> get your spices, yeah. and your milk, and, you know, and you hit it with a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and a whole lot of butter. <laughs> These are the words I remember from my mother. She taught me how to cook when I was this tall, and those words stuck in this brain until this day when I picked up this phone to make this call say, hey, let me cook for you. Have a seat at my table. I'm here to serve you. Allow me the opportunity to pour you a glass of your new favorite wine. While I finish preparing the ingredients I selected to nourish you. See, this isn't just food. This is the moment when I culinarily excite each and every one of your senses at precisely the same time. Well, before we get to dessert, let me cook for you because a wise woman once said that cooking is a whole lot like love. It should be entered with reckless abandon or not at all. So a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and a whole lot of butter. I made you know one day that you had a restaurant at one time when we went there and you just kept telling me how much it meant for us to be there together. And then you got all mad at me and I was listening to you. But I was. You were? Yeah. Oh. See, I took out that sage you said you hated. I added a little spice like you do to my life. And I removed the garlic and onions for later. I cater to the tip of your taste buds, but I was hoping that we could be more than taste buds. Right, because a good meal, like good love, never fully satiates. It is good to the last bite, and even the last bite leaves you wanting more. From uh, the appetizer. Our eyes, eating across the crowded room. To the entree. Our very first real day. To the side dish. Those late night phone calls that last until sunrise. To the icy cold beverages. The very first time you fart in front of me. How about that? The dessert, the dessert. And we all know what dessert is, right? <laughs> our wedding. Oh, oh, Generations oh, of our family oh, gathering together, witnessing holy matrimony. No, oh, again, neither of us will ever have to be lonely and I. Fixate my gaze on you, walking down the aisle, much like I will spot the waiter across the room carrying our food. And I know it's our dress from a hundred yards away, and I will drag that stain like I'm the NSA because I'm fat like that. But with this meal, I prepared the best ingredients with the best nutrients to add to the span of your lifetime, our lifetime, to set the table for more days we're able to spend together, nourishing each other. You cook the dinner? I'll do the dishes. I'll cook the dinner. You do the dishes. You walk the dog. I'll wash the kids. You bring home the bacon. So I can go hang with the friends. I live to love you, you love the way that I live. You're sweet and I'm spicy. Just, just like the perfect dish. Just like the perfect night. And that's just what this is. And as I cook, I pray God you don't forget this. And I can cook you dinner. And you can cook, cook me breakfast. But that is just the first of many meals. Many courses. Many trials and, and even, even more errors like when my parents first got married. I bet your mom did like my mom. She tried to make biscuits, right? Yeah, about that. She actually mixed up all the ingredients. So instead of uh, biscuits and gravy, instead of biscuits and gravy, they got pie crust and gravy. Yeah. But now. Now? Yeah. Now. Now, my mama's biscuits are the best on the block, and that is love. Spending years using hands to press, fold, and caress, and turn pie crust from dry, flat, lust into big, buttery biscuits. It's love and easy. It isn't supposed to be. Look, I could have gotten something off the dollar menu. Yeah, I could have taken you somewhere really fancy. And he'll always carry the tray. And I could have gotten you a foot-long sandwich for $5. But we are here in comfortable company. Napkin on my lap, love on your plate. You on my mind, now let us say grace. Thank you, God, for our mood. Let it provide nourishment to all bodies. Let me depress her ever so slightly. And if it's your will, let this be my child's mother. And she can teach him how to cook. And how to find a love. With a little bit of this. A little bit of that and a whole lot of butter.